Hey everyone, I uh, thought I'd put this video together because I ran into a couple issues with my jacuzzi tub um, and I had to kind of search around through different videos and Google some other information to uh, find out what's going on. So I thought I'd put it all together in one video, some common things. Now I'm not a plumber. I don't have that much experience doing anything really electrical or plumbing wise, but for the common uh, folk here, this will at least help you troubleshoot some issues that you might be having. So the first thing, this one is just a uh, American standard. I think they use these a lot. Um, basics of this, you know, you got a water intake here that's gonna go into the pump and you got a couple of these jets around uh, that are in there. And then mine also has these switches that, they're not actually switches there, to control the air water ratio as you can see it's got a hole but they actually yeah, I took them out just to clean them once but all they do is adju adjust the pressure um, of how the flow of really of, of how strong or weak you want the flow to come out on each side I always keep it pretty up there but one thing you'll notice right when you get this you might have a switch on the wall so just know that if it's not working by pushing the button you there's, there is a switch on mine that's putting power and I have the panel off because I was doing some stuff right to this outlet where you can see the motor is plugged in and then I have one of these push buttons on top. So just know that uh, you have to sometimes hit that wall switch. Now some things that people might have is sometimes you'll push the button and you'll hear the motor humming but nothing's coming out. Well, mine had... Uh, a plastic switch, a plastic cap, right in the middle here. And all you have to do is, it looks like a flathead screw. It's not really a screw, it's just an end of the, uh, you know, impeller or whatever is in there. And you just take a screwdriver, flathead, and stick it in there and turn it, just turn it right there, to the left a couple, you know, a couple times, and the right, it's the same thing as a garbage disposal, if you ever, it has a, it has a similar thing on the bottom. Uh, if you ever had a problem there and it should move very freely to the left or right although I think it probably goes clockwise when it runs um, and if you feel any resistance keep doing that till maybe you break it free if something's clogged in there if it's running free the next thing to check or at least that I did um, was make sure that your water intake isn't clogged so I took off this cover all it has is a screw there and a screw there you take it off it's basically just a you know a big pipe it was actually pretty dirty I, I cleaned it a little but obviously that's a reflection of the whole system so you want to run cleaner through these they sell like jacuzzi cleaner you want to use it very often to, to really keep that sludge out of the pipes um, if that's not uh, the problem then I would recommend looking at the jets yourself. Now, I didn't realize this, but these jets in my tub actually turn to the left and right, and they close and open. I don't, I had no idea, in fact, since I've lived here for a couple of years, I always thought that this one just didn't work, and all the other ones were working, but it was closed. And I finally figured out, it was just like, you know, left to open, right to close, after all that time. So if you feel that you hear it humming, but you're not getting anything coming out, Maybe they're closed when you were cleaning them. Um, or if it's your first time, maybe they're just closed. I actually didn't realize mine were working and I thought I had a problem, but I had used like a, a what they call a scum buster tool. It's like a rotating um, brush. And it, I guess it had closed them all. And only, it only had one working and I thought the, I had a clog somewhere, but that's, a, that's all there really is to it um, on that. So. Those are just some of the common problems. Obviously, if you have a real motor problem or the thing burned out or you have some that leak going on, then you're going to need to uh, go another avenue. But uh, before, another thing to mention, before you start like sticking a screwdriver in there, unplug it. You know, just make sure there's no electricity running to it so there's no issues there. And then, um, you know, you throw the panel back on. Mine happened to be caulked and it had three screws. I'm sure they're all different. I've seen them Velcroed, but... You don't want any water leaking in there when you have, uh, you know, wires running. So anyway, hope this helps a bit. Thanks.